Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Sports on Gambian Talents TV with me, Alaji K. Drame. Today's top headlines, St. Feet Scorpions contract extend. Gambia women's team line up internationally friendly with Ethiopia. Scorpions beat Guinea in international friendly. Now the news in detail. The Gambia Sport Ministry has extended the contract of their national team head coach Tom St. Feet to 31st May 2021. The country's football federation, DFF, confirmed on Friday the Belgian has been rewarded for guiding the Scorpion to a third-place finish in the recent 2019 African Cup of Nations qualifiers, St. Feet 46, a former Togo Zimbabwe, and Malta head coach had initially signed a nine-month contract in July 2018. Upon the re recommendation of the federation, the Ministry of Youth and Sport has re-engaged Mr. Tom Shenfield as head coach of senior national team of the Gambia for two-year period. The GFF said in a statement, Shenfield has been taxed to qualify. The West African nation for the country's first Africa Cup of Nations and wo World Cup. I'm proud to extend the deal with the Gambia. I enjoyed the last year working with the Scorpion and I believe that we have a lot of potential sent feet, told BBC Sport. Monday, June 10, 2019. The Gambia Women Scorpions National Team are preparing, preparing to play two international friendly match at home against their counterpart, Ethiopia. This Saturday and next week, Tuesday, organized by the Gambia Football Federation, GFF, and their, counter, and their counterpart, the Ethiopia Football Federations. The games will be played at the Independent Stadium in Bakau. The encounters are meant to prepare. Both national teams for their, inter for, for their international tournaments and qualifiers as well are strengthening their relationship. This was recently announced at a joint GFF executive and women's national team technical committee. Meeting at Football House last Thursday where the vice chairman and head of compet competition, Ebu Fai, made the disclosure. According to the GFF, the team will be coached by Mariama So and assisted by Abdullahi Bojan. The Gambia senior national team, Scorpions, have defeated the silly national of Guinea Conakry 1-0 in an international friendly game played in the Moroccan city of Marrakech on Wednesday. The Scorpions midfielder, genius Ibrahim Sohna scored the only goal in the match in the first half of the game. Just in the first 20 minutes when he was when he was introduced in the game replacing Sal Jubate. The Sili National used the game as part of the preparation for the upcoming African Cup of Nations tournament in Egypt. After, uh, after gaining qualification for the tournament, while the Scorpion failed to qualify after occupying third positions in the Group D. Scorpion, Scorpion Storm Shen Feet has beaten the Gambia team despite several of the country's players turning down the, invent, the invitations to the encounter. Tuesday, 11 June 2019, Brigham United head coach said they are Sunday championship of the 2019 Gambia Football Federation of, of the First Division League was driven by the motivation that he and his boys received from the team management. The Satibar boys clinched the 2019 GFF League title after defeating Gambia Armed Forces 2-1 in the final and the Week 26 fixture of the league played at the Independent Stadium, were tightly followed by Real de Banjul, who they led by a lone point. Mamadou Bojan gave all the needed maximum point to the Satibar boys after converting a penalty spot when, G G when, when Gambia uh, when GAF defender Sekou Jata brought, uh, brought down Brikama United's Ibrahim Obadji inside the box, Mr. Nyasi praised his players and the entire Brikama community and fans. According to him, the secret behind their success this year is determination and hard work, adding that it was difficult. It, it was difficult for them at some point as they lost most of the home matches. 
due to pressure, but there are way matches registered 80 percent success. As winner, Brickham United was awarded the league trophy and will receive a cash prize of three hundred thousand dollars. While Real de Banyul, who also defeated Marimo 2-1 on the final day of the league, will be giving $250,000 for finishing second position. Gambia Armed Forces will also pocket $100,000 for finishing third position. This is what we have for you on sports today. Thank you for watching.